What up everybody? Back again here with our negative number unit. Today we're going to be talking about the shortcut for subtracting integers. So let's dive into the water and see what our objective is today. Our objective today, today I will be able to solve subtracting integer questions by using the shortcut. If you've been with us since the beginning, we appreciate you. You've been doing a lot of number lines, but this means no more number lines. So you are welcome. Let's dive right in and check out our steps for our shortcut. So when you are subtracting integers, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to write the additive inverse by doing these three steps. Now we've been doing these three steps in our lessons, but we haven't really named it this, but keep change change is going to help you rewrite a subtraction problem with its additive inverse. Then after you do that, you're going to use the exact same shortcut that you did when you were adding in the last lesson. So all you're doing subtraction is taking one extra step and rewriting it by doing keep change change or writing the additive inverse and then following our flow map. Let's take a look at an I do problem. So again, just like last lesson, we have the same two numbers but written differently. And then we have the same two numbers but written differently again. The first thing I want to do is I want to write this as the additive inverse and turn it into an addition sign. So the opposite of a negative would be a positive. So instead of moving to the left three places, I want to do the opposite of that and move to the right three places. Now my sign, this one's just a two positive numbers, so you've been doing that for a long time, but my sign is the same, which means I add them together, and then I keep the sign. Both of these are positive, so I leave this as a positive eight. So for this one, I want to rewrite this as addition by adding the opposite. So I'm changing the subtraction to an addition, and then I was subtracting a positive five, so the opposite of that would be a negative five. And now both of these again have the same sign, which means I add them together. Three plus five is eight. But now I keep the negative sign because you keep the sign that both of them had. So they're both negative, which makes this a negative eight. Notice the difference between them. I added five and three both times, but these two were positive, so I kept it positive. These two are negative, so I had to make it negative. So for this one again, I'm going to rewrite this using its additive inverse. The opposite of a negative is a positive. And now I'm adding integers. So I ask myself, are my add-ins the same sign or different? They're different because one is negative, one is positive, which means I subtract it by doing the number with the biggest absolute value first. So five minus three is going to give me two, right? And then I keep the sign of the number with the biggest absolute value. Five has a bigger absolute value than negative three. So I'm going to keep it positive because my five was positive. Same thing here. I'm going to rewrite this as negative five plus three. They have different signs, which means I'm going to subtract them. This time my five is negative, but it still has a larger absolute value than three would have. So I'm going to subtract 5 minus 3, because 5 still has a bigger absolute value. My answer is going to be 2. But now the number with the biggest absolute value is negative 5, which means I'm going to keep the sign of the number with the largest absolute value. And my answer for this question is going to be negative 2. Again, the difference between the positive 2 and the negative 2. In this question, the number with the biggest absolute value is positive. And in this question, the number with the biggest absolute value was negative. Let's try a U-try problem. So if you're ready, go ahead and push pause and solve these and then check your work. You can find these questions in the description of this video. There's a link to notes that you can either print off or write on online and make a copy of. Or you can just pause it and write it down on a piece of paper. When you're ready, push play to check your understanding. Hopefully you just tried it and now you're checking your work. So the first thing I want to do is I want to keep change change, right? So I'm going to keep this the same. I'm going to change this to positive and then I'm going to change this to the opposite, which is also positive. So for this one, I'm going to be doing 18 plus nine, which is going to be 27. So I've been saying adding the opposite, but really keep change change is another way for you to remember that. If you want to, you can label it above the problem and that will help you remember the steps. So here again, I am subtracting. So I'm going to keep the first number the same. I'm going to change my negative. I'm going to change my subtraction to a addition sign and I'm going to change my negative to a positive. And now I have a negative and a positive. So my signs are different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract these. 
I'm going to put the number with the biggest absolute value on top. That'd be negative 104. So 104 minus 98. And that's going to give me an answer of 6. And then the number with the biggest absolute value was negative 104. And that had a negative sign, which means my answer is going to be negative. So for the I do problem, I didn't label this as keep change change because I want you to kind of understand what you're doing. But if it helps you, go ahead and label the numbers as keep change change when it's a subtraction problem. And that will help you rewrite it as its additive inverse. Thank you so much for checking us out today. We really appreciate it. We would love for you to subscribe, leave a comment, let us know where you're watching from and like the video. Check out the rest of our negative number playlist. If you need a conceptual understanding of what you're actually doing, we have lots of lessons. You can check out our negative number song. Again, thank you so much. Instruct Beats, out.